number of oscillations. Forty oscillations in the four second. So find out in one second what is the number of oscillation. Four second, forty oscillation. One second, how much? Cross multiply. One into forty. Forty divided by four. So four ones are four tens are, which is equal to ten. But what it is? It is ten hertz. What is that ten hertz? Frequency is equal to frequency of the object. Frequency is equal to ten hertz. Now we are going to calculate time period. Time period P is equal to how much? So what is the formula? P is equal to one divided by y, which is equal to one divided by ten. One by ten. In decimal form, you can write it as zero point one second. That is the time period. So in the question, it is given in four second forty times oscillations. Forty oscillations. So you have to find out in one second how many oscillations because number of oscillation in one second gives you frequency. So you will get the frequency ten hertz. Then time period you can calculate using the relation t is equal to one divided by f. That is one by ten. You will get the answer zero point one. In decimal, if you write one by ten, zero point one and s. Loudest sound. But when you hit the same table, 
loudness of the sound decreases, we can hear a soft sound. The sound will become softer. So how this loudness or softness of the sound depends on its uh, frequency of the amplitude. Usually, loudness of the sound depends on the amplitude of the sound. Loudness depends on the amplitude. In the sense, if you say if the sound is louder one, we say that its amplitude is higher. If the sound is very soft, if the sound is very soft or it is less louder, it says that its amplitude is less. High amplitude gives louder sound, low amplitude gives very less louder sound or in, the, in another, another way we can say that the sound is very soft. If you represent this using graph, loudness of the sound, if you represent using graph, so which graph, out of these two graphs, which graph says the sound is louder one and which graph says the sound is very soft sound. Soft sound as well as louder sound or the high louder sound and the less louder sound. Which graph says? Usually graphs are very important or it is very easier using the graphs we can easily understand a given concept. So which graph says it is a less loud sound and which graph says it is the sound is more louder. So look into these two graphs. First graph as well as second graph. Just to see the waves. How many waves are there? You can see here there are only two waves. Here only two waves. Actually not complete two waves. It is two and half waves. So this is one wave. This is half wave. Or you just consider here you can see two waves. Here you can see two waves. So which sound is louder one in the sense where the amplitude is higher. So amplitude is the distance from the mean position. To the, it is a maximum displacement of the particle from its mean position. So mean position or the rest position. Rest position means this, this origin. This is the rest position. To find out the amplitude, you have to find the height. This height. This gives you amplitude. This is the amplitude. And just to see second graph. This height. So which height is more here? The height of first graph is more or the height of second graph is more. You can see, you can say it is very clearly. So this height, this length is more than this length. In the sense, it is high amplitude, it is less amplitude or low amplitude. In another way we can say that this is the sound of higher amplitude in the sense this is the sound of high loudness, more louder sound. It is more louder and it is less louder. The loudness is less here because amplitude is less. Amplitude is mainly, that is the loudness mainly depends on amplitude of the sound. High amplitude, high uh, loudness or the more loudness, low amplitude or the less amplitude gives a less louder sound. So here amplitude, this height is, this length is more, the distance from the rest position or the mean position to the highest displacement, this height is more compared to this height. So this is less amplitude graph, this is more amplitude graph. In the sense, this sound is more louder compared to this sound. Now come to the second one, pitch of the sound. Pitch is also called shrillness. Shrillness of the sound. Pitch of the sound depends on the frequency. Pitch of the sound depends on the frequency of the sound. What is frequency? Number of oscillations or the number of vibrations in one second is called the frequency. The number of oscillations in one second. For example, if I beat using this chalk, if I beat to my, if I beat using this chalk, if I beat to my hand, so in one second, how many times I, I can beat? That is the frequency of beating my hand with this chalk. So that is the frequency. Number of vibrations in one second. Usually, pitch of the sound depends on the frequency. Pitch or the shrillness in the sound depends on the frequency. In a sense, higher frequency, more pitch in the voice. Lower frequency, less pitch in the voice. When you compare 
pitch a man's voice or a woman's voice where you can see high pitch where you can say pitch is more usually here more pitch sorry here less pitch here pitch is more pitch is more pitch is less consider the voice of a baby and adult in which voice uh, pitch is more here more pitch here less pitch less pitch more pitch baby's voice pitch is more adult's voice pitch is less so pitch mainly depends on frequency of the sound as the frequency increases pitch increases as the frequency decreases pitch decreases so here baby's voice has high frequency so it has high pitch here less frequency or low frequency in the sense less pitch for example if you see these two graphs that is the uh, which shows number of vibrations in one second or in unit time if you consider the vibrations and if i represent those vibrations using the graph you can see here the number of vibrations in one second the number of waves in one second in this graph as well as number of waves in one second in the second graph when you can observe more waves number of waves are more here in the first graph this graph has more number of waves compared to this in the sense here more vibrations here less vibration which means the frequency is more here the frequency is less here which this graph represents less frequency this graph represents more frequency in the sense this is high pitch the voice the graph which represent high pitch voice and this graph represents low pitch voice so pitch of a sound mainly depends on frequency and loudness of the sound depends on amplitude so far we have studied various concepts related to sound sounds which are very present to our ear we call them as music which is uh, music sound is very pleasing to our ears so it is very we feel happy while listening this music and some sounds are unpleasant to our ear we call it as noise so some sound which is pleasant to our ear is called music and sound which is unpleasant to our ear we call it as noise so what causes this noise pollution if this unpleasant sound is more in our environment we call it as noise pollution presence of excessive or unpleasant sound in the environment is called a noise pollution so what are the sources of this noise pollution what leads to noise pollution what are the different sources of this noise pollution so noise pollution main sources are sounds of the vapors main source is the sounds of the vapors they are the main sources of noise pollution bursting of crackers and explosives these are the one more source of noise pollution sounds of machines also causes noise pollution and also loud speakers and also loud speakers along with that tv radio if we play in higher volume they also uh, leads to the noise pollution and also some of the kitchen appliances like mixers etc they also causes noise pollution but what are the harms of this noise pollution sound up to a certain limit it is good it is uh, we can bear that sound but after crossing a certain limit we can't bear that type of sound so they may lead to various health related problems so harms of noise pollution mainly lack of sleep hypertension hypertension in the sense high bp and also anxiety it may causes anxiety uh, this because of the noise pollution we may lose our hearing capacity temporary or permanent impairment of hearing we may lose our hearing capacity because of this noise pollution so what are the measures to limit to avoid this noise pollution how we can avoid what are the measures we can take to avoid the noise pollution so mainly the silencing devices should be installed in the machines vehicles home appliances etc silencing devices must be installed in the vehicles industrial machines and home appliances all the noisy operation should be carried away from the residential area all noisy uh, operations the operations or the industries which produces noise should be set up away from the residential area use of automobile horns should be minimized always we should not use horns near the school.
or uh, near the houses, we should not use horns. Use of horns should be minimized so that we can avoid, we can minimize the noise pollution. Whenever we are using TV or the radio or the sound systems, we have to uh, minimize, we have to run them at a low volume. They should, their volume should be minimized or the reduced. And also, trees must be planted along the roadside so that they can absorb the uh, voice, they can absorb the sound, so that we can avoid the sound pollution. These are the measures which we have to take to avoid or to minimize this sound pollution because sound pollution lead to many health disorders, health related problems like uh, lack of sleep, anxiety as well as high BP and also we may lose our hearing capacity because of the sound pollution. Therefore, some measures we have to take to avoid this sound pollution. The measures like the silencing devices must be installed in our vehicles as well as machines which we are using in our industries and also at home. The home appliances which we are using, we have to uh, install some of the silencing devices. The noisy operations should be set up away from the residential area, away from our uh, living, our houses. They should be set up and also the industries which produce more noise should be set up away from the residential area. Use of automobile horns should be minimized or it should be reduced and also whenever we use TV or the music system, their volume should be reduced and also we have to plant trees so that they can absorb the sound so that we can minimize the sound pollution. By these measures we can minimize.